Yeah. I was born here in Linora. My family group is called Guara people, Guara Bini Delgandara. Mainly on the stations we grew up because they all people were employed on the stations way back. It was really good growing up there because we all the family were together. If we got no money or if it's really raining, but if we have a chance of having money for the fuel that we still we go hunting. That the only two things will stop us. The Ngalia Foundation is working on the preservation uh, and use of the languages, Aboriginal languages of the Goldfields region. A lot of the preservation work, the analysis of those languages has, has never been done uh, and we think there's possibly up to 14 languages in the region. At the moment we've got about 800 words in a database, That's that's been four years work. We'll come back round there, dip dip, come along and double this thing here. Can't be there? And they need your bird still. So we will go out to particular places that are important to that to that group. And when we go out on a field trip, rich natural speech comes out. The birds make a noise in one of these trees and they know the water in there. And Nyenyi, another name is Nyimanga. Mm. That's all, isn't it? When we think of a, an Aboriginal language, we think of the words, um, but a language is much more than that. A, lang a language for any culture is a carrier of culture, it's a carrier of knowledge. And they sort of can't get in there, so what um, Dip Dip did was to open it, clear it, so the water can come up. And as you heard the birds, the nye nye, or yeah. nye just make a noise for the water. And when it's evening, the water rise up more. Mm. That they can have a drink. Then. Yeah. Many linguists can hear a language being used, hear the words and the phrases, and you can actually get an idea of what piece of country that the language is connected to. When we're going along and we look at the tree, we might see a rock like that one over here, and that's showing you where the water is. Might be pointing that way. So, but then old people walk and they find the water like that there. Mm. When there are Aboriginal people who have the oral sk skills of both English and their own language and the cultural knowledge from both sides, those people can take the language um, and even in its written form and um, revitalise it, reuse it. And, and we describe those kind of people who, who can work easily in both worlds as bicultural people. In, in Australia, our land Australia, there's the Aboriginal culture and then the non-Aboriginal culture and then the third one where we join together but to always to respect and acknowledge one another's history and that's what we're trying to do in it with our language here to because language is um, important to know the foundation of who you are as a human being 